And good morning, fourth grade students. Welcome to the problem set. Um, take out page 33 of your problem set. You're going to be taking this home to help you with your homework. Okay, and we're going to set the timer for 10 minutes. We'll go 10 minutes on our problem set. And once again, if you feel comfortable with this problem set, go for it on your own. If not, work with Mr. Leggett. But if you are working with yourself, check back to see how you did. You know, pause the video, finish a the problem, then look. Just make sure you got it correct. So, rounding to the nearest thousands without using a number line. Woo! Well, I'm going to underline the thousands place. It's a five. So it's 5,300. So what's between 5,000 and 6,000? What's the midpoint? It would be 5,500. So 5,300 would definitely be lower than 5,500, giving us a total of 5,000. Okay? And I know that uh, you might be like, what? But we will get this with practice. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, let's continue on to B. 4,589. Remember, we're rounding to the nearest thousand. What's midway between 4,000 and 5,000? It'll be 4,500. But we have 4,589. That's greater than the midway point, right? So we round which way? We round up to 5,000. Okay? Let's go to C. We're rounding to the nearest thousand, not 10,000, to the nearest thousand. So let's just forget about the four. For now, let's look at this, 2,099, 42,099. Well, if it's just 2,099, we, we would say 42,000, 43,000, okay? So is it closer to 42,000 or 43,000? Definitely closer to 42,000 because, it's look, we have a zero right here. So it would be 42,000. Let's head on over here. Remember, we're going to the closest 10, uh, 1,000, right? The nearest thousand. So is this 1,504 closer to 2,000 or 1,000? Well, it's 504, so it's four more than the midpoint. So we would have, uh, we would round up to 800, 2,000. Okay, now we're going to explain how you found your answer for part D. Oh, Mr. Leggett, you did not squiggly line this. All right, so explain how you're found your answer for part D, okay? So we could say, I know that 1,504 is greater than 1,500, which is the mid point since it is greater I round it up to 802,000 see what I mean there's the 2,000 the thousand spot okay you can go and pause if you like we're going to continue on it says round to the nearest 10,000. I'm going to circle 10,000. Let's just go ahead and underline all the 10,000 place. There, 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 and there. So we're going to be rounding up or down. These numbers are going to change. 26,000. Well, let's go, let's get the um, um, end points. Think about them. We have 20,000 and 30,000. The midpoint would be 25,000. Is that greater than 25,000? Yes, it is! So we would round up to 30,000. Notice how that number changes, either stays the same or goes up, and everything else is zeros. Let's go over here, 34,920. Well, on 10,000, we have 30,000, 40,000. Our midpoint would be 35,000. Is this greater than or less than 35,000? Well, we can clearly see 34,000 is less than 35,000, so we would round down to 30,000. How about over here? 789,091. Now we know this isn't going to change. This is either going to remain the same or go up to uh, 9. 
So is 89,091 closer to 89,000 or 90,000? Think about this. Excuse me, is it closer to 80,000 or 90,000? Because we're rounding to the nearest 10,000. So 89 is pretty darn close to 90, I think you would agree with me. So we would round up to 90,000. Let's head on over here. So we have the 6,286. Remember, this number's not going to change. This one will, or stay the same. So, and all these will become zeros. So let's look at this. Let's take a look at the 10,000 places. We have zero 10,000s and then 10,000, okay? Is this closer to 10,000, 6,286? You bet it is. So we would round up to 710,000, okay? That one, pretty difficult, but we did it. We could do it. Maybe we should make a vertical number line on that one to show, but we got to keep going on. So here we're going to explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 10,000. Okay, well these two, we could say A and B have the same answer. This is because they are both closer, uh, because they are both greater, no they're not both greater, uh, <laughs> they're both closer, let's stick with that, to the uh, 30,000. Wow, Mr. Leggett. Should have rehearsed that one a little better. Okay, we're going to go on and we're going to round to the nearest 100,000. And I'll circle 100,000. So let's underline all the 100,000s. And remember, everything else is going to become zero. This might change or stay the same. 800,000 to 900,000. What's the midpoint? 850,000. So will we round up or down? Ah! Oh no, it's the rounding raven. Down! Down! Why would you round down, Rounding Raven? Because 840,000 is less than 850,000. The midpoint! Down! Down! Okay, okay, Rounding Raven. We'll round down to 800,000. And I think you're absolutely correct. Now, Rounding Raven, if you look over here, it's, it's almost the midpoint, right? Between 800,000 and 900,000? Yes. So is it greater than the midpoint, do you think? 850,471? Yes, the three digits at the end make it greater than eight, 850,000. So round up, up! Okay, Rounding Raven, we'll round up to 900,000. Thank you for your help. Ah! All right, Rounding Raven. Let's look at this one. 761,004, is it greater than, well, uh, the midpoint would be 750,000, and that's greater than 750,000, so we would round up. And we'll go over here to 991,000, 965, 991, closer to, uh, or let's just look at the 99, closer to 100 than it is to 90, right? Our midpoints, I mean our endpoints are 90, 900,000 and 1 million, definitely closer to 1 million. A lot of you don't get the one millions right, I've noticed. Three zeros, comma, three zeros, comma, one. Remember, groups of three. Here's our uh, explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 100,000. Wow, I didn't do that the last one, but that's okay. So A and C have the same answer. as they are both closer to 800,000 than the other endpoint. Now let's come up with another number that could be rounded to 800,000. How about, <coughs> you can come up with one probably, would we round up 786,000 if we were rounding to the nearest 100,000? We were around that to 800,000? You bet we would. Okay, let's flip the paper over. Try to get one of these done. It says solve the following problems using pictures, numbers, or words. So we use pictures, numbers, or words. 
The 2012 Super Bowl had an attendance of just 68,658 people. That's something we know. If the headline in the newspaper the next day read about 70,000 people attended the Super Bowl, how did the newspaper round to estimate the total number of people in attendance? Well, let's make a number line. And there's 70,000, right? Oops, stop. And there's 60,000, because our number we're rounding is 68,658. What's our midway point? 65,000. All right, so the number that attended is 68,858. So we would definitely round up. Oh, more Super Bowl news. <clears throat> the 2011 Super Bowl had an attendance of 103,219. Wow. If the headline in the newspaper the next day read about 200,000 people attended Super Bowl, is the newspaper's estimate reasonable? Use rounding to explain your answer. Okay, so they said about 200,000 people attended. The newspaper did. Well, look at this, 103,219. Let's just go ahead. They obviously were trying to round to the nearest 100,000. So we'll say 100,000, 200,000. And the midway point would be, if you said 150, 150,000, you would be absolutely correct. But how many people actually attended the game? 103,219, that'd be way down here. We would have to write something here. No, it is not reasonable. Yeah, 200,000 is way up there. 100,000 would have been a much better about sentence. Okay, according to the problems above about how many more people attended the Super Bowl in 2011 than in 2012, we're going to round each number to the largest place value before giving the estimated answer. Okay, the largest place value. So that was 70,000, right? And that's 100,000. So this is just a, uh, uh, we're looking for the um, how many more attended that in 2011. So about 100,000 people attended in 2011, correct? That's correct. And about 70,000 people attended in 2012. And zero, 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 zero. We have a little uh, borrowing there. That becomes a 10. 10 minus 7 is 30. Put our comma there. So about 30,000 people more, we could say. About 30,000 people more attended. Super Bowl attended the 2011 Super Bowl then the 2012 Super Bowl. Got a little sloppy there, kids. All right, so that's it. Um, we're going to start our exit ticket after I get through with the third graders. Hope you enjoyed rounding with Mr. Leggett and the Rounding Ravens.